Hello! In this short video, I'm gonna quickly show how to create a geodesic dome. So let's get started. Inside, uh, go to create and inside polygon primitives, choose platonic solids. With this guy selected, go over to the input node. Uh, I'm gonna make it bigger. But this parameter, solid type, you want to change that to icosahedron so that it's going to look like this. Now we want to smooth this guy. So let's go to mesh and on the smooth go to the uh, options box and by default it's going to be set to exponentially and we don't want that we want to have it linearly and at the very bottom we have few options the push strength I can, I'm gonna set to 0 and the roundness to 10 but actually in this example it doesn't make much of a difference it's exactly the same <laughs> uh, it's just gonna be offset a little bit but if you scale him manually, it's going to be exactly the same. So anyway, you can play around those settings as well. I'm going to duplicate this guy to show off the next setting, which is the most important one. To move this guy, the grid. The divisions per face is the determination of how much details is going to be on the object, of course. So this guy, I'm going to divide just once. This guy, I'm going to divide twice. And this guy, three times. And as you can see, the more you do it, the more details you're going to get, the more rounded and prettier. And you can choose whichever one works for you. I'm going to take the second one. And now I'm going to rotate this guy um, so that it's straight. Uh, let's see, like this. Because I want to remove some faces. I'm going to select these faces or you know all of them. Thanks. And now I'm going to switch to edges and select every edge and bevel them. And as you can see, the bottom ones are actually a little bit odd. And this is why you want to select more faces than you need. So that uh, I'm going to choose the thickness I want, something like this. And now I can choose these faces and just delete them because I don't want them. Now I'm going to select the bottom edge, the whole ring. I'm going to go into the options mode and make sure that I do not have retained component spacing and that uh, my uh, move tool is set to world, not object, because I'm going to snap him to the vertex here so it's flat and pull him down a little bit like this. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to select every face in the middle of this on the whole dome because we're going to extrude them inward. Uh, by all um, definition, you're actually done now. Uh, you have a geodesic dome, but if you want to make it a little, pre a little bit prettier, then you can do what I'm doing. Now I have selected everything. I'm going to switch to number three on the keyboard, just so I can see if there are any faces I have selected that I did not, do not want. And it's going to be easier to spot them in this mode and than in this mode. And it looks like I have everything. Good. So let's extrude them. And the thickness, we're going to go down inward a little bit. That might be too much. Uh, why am I so picky? That's going to be fine. Now, four. I want four. Please give me four. There you go. Uh, now I'm going to switch over to uh, edges. No, 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 I'm not going to switch over to edges. With these still selected, I'm going to hold down uh, control and go to edges uh, to reverse my se selection to edges. And I'll hold down shift and reverse my selection just so I can grab the outside edges, not the inside. And I'm going to bevel these guys to give them a little bit more detail. And now it's pretty much done. I'm going to Create a plane and a light, redshift dome light, and go over to redshift, choose, whoops, what am I doing? Choose 720 HD and render. And let's see if I can do this now. Last time I did this, Maya crashed, but hopefully it's fine. No, 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 yeah, it's fine. As you can see, there you have your geodesic dome. 
and you can still go inside the settings and change the thickness if it's too, uh, too far in. I want to change it to like one minus. Can I please? Oh my god, what is going on? Minus zero one and render again. And you can, you know, choose whatever thickness you want. And there you have it uh, a geodesic dome, but very quickly and easily made inside Maya without having to think about much. Cheers.